Good morning, guys. I hope you guys had a fabulous Memorial Day weekend. As you guys know, it was my birthday weekend, so I indulged a lot. I had a lot of sweets, pasta, bread, all the stuff I don't usually have. I could feel it. Like by the end of the weekend, I was like, okay, that was enough sugar for the whole year. Today's video is going to be all about how to get back on track. I have a lot of, I guess, tips and tricks I want to tell you guys that I do kind of to feel back to myself again, minimize bloating, feel healthy again, how to get back on that routine and get back to our goal. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be sharing some tips I have, keep your eyes peeled, and at the end, I'll kind of sum up everything. So I'm just gonna take you through my day and show you what I do to get back on track. Guys, my camera is about to die, but I just wanted to give you a quick look at what I have for the week. Of course, my omega-3 eggs, walnuts, these are my favorite sausages, smoked salmon, kale for uh, blending. I'm going to try to get more micronutrients in now. Some wild frozen blueberries, unsweetened almond milk, mushroom pico de gallo, ground bison, lemon, avocado. Woo! My first tip is going to be jump right back into your routine. Sometimes when I go away on a weekend trip or I go on vacation or something, when I come back, I feel a little bit like lazier. Maybe it's because I'm crashing from sugar, whatever it may be. I think it's really important to kind of make yourself get back into that routine because the sooner you do it, the sooner you'll be back in that in that uh, groove. So one tip that I think is super important that I know a lot of people will feel tempted to do is do not under eat. A lot of people will indulge and have a super fun weekend and eat a lot and then feel like when they're back on their routine, they have to under eat to make up for everything they ate. That is not the case and I do not recommend that. It's never a good idea to under eat because what you're gonna end up doing is binging later, feeling unsatisfied. So what I would recommend is getting right back into what you were doing before. Make sure you're getting a lot of nutrient dense, satisfying foods that are gonna keep you full. With that said, let's go make some breakfast. Did you want some of my breakfast? <laughs> Hey guys, I made my usual breakfast. You guys see it on my Instagram story every single day. Today I added some salmon locks. So let me show you. Five, four, four or five eggs, scrambled whole eggs, a little bit of avocado, chicken sausage, my favorite one by Belinsky's. It's the mushroom one, pico de gallo, and I added some locks on top. So I'm basically the queen of healthy fats over here. I'm going to down this delicious breakfast maybe do some work, let it digest, have some of my green tea, and then we're off to the gym. And I will talk more about what I'm gonna do at the gym, and I think I'm gonna try to film the workout for you guys. Okay guys, on the way to the gym right now, I'm gonna give you another tip. This one is especially important, so important for bloating. If you wanna get rid of your bloat, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna drink a heck ton of water. That lady was just staring at me. I just picked this up from 7-Eleven. It's a full gallon. I do have a reusable gallon jug, which I really wish I was using. I hate that I'm using this plastic, but I'm probably gonna try to reuse this a few times. I'm gonna try to get through this entire gallon today. I will keep you guys updated. I'll make it like a fun little game. I'm gonna try to finish this whole thing by tonight. Um, you do not have to drink an entire gallon, but I would recommend getting close to it. You really want to flush everything out of your system. A lot of people who I've suggested this to find this confusing because they think that when they drink a ton of water, obviously your stomach looks bigger and they think that they're getting more bloated. No, of course your stomach's gonna get bigger if you're drinking a lot of water, but what I promise you is when you wake up the next morning, your stomach is gonna be way flatter than it was when you were bloated.
Okay guys, I'm back from the gym. Quick gallon update. Like, I drank quite a lot of it during my workout. I know a lot of you ask me and are probably wondering, this pink stuff in here is just like an electrolyte tablet by um, the brand Noon, N-U-U-N. I have another tip for you guys and this one is all about salt. There are a ton of misconceptions about salt. A lot of people think that salt makes you fat. People think it's unhealthy. That is not the case. It is a very important mineral, especially if you're doing a lot of exercise. The salt that I use and I recommend is the Himalayan pig salt. But there are also a lot of misconceptions with salt when it comes to bloating. Sodium is the lead cause of bloating when you go out to eat. And that is because at restaurants, they pour sodium in a lot of things that you are not aware of. It could be in a salad dressing, it could be in a sauce. And however, when you're at home, and you can control the amount yourself, you should not be afraid of sodium. You should actually use a lot of it. A trick that Greg and I use is that we keep our sodium pretty high at home. So we use a good amount of pink salt on our food so that if we do eat out or we do indulge on the weekend, our body doesn't freak out and we don't bloat an insane amount because we are used to a relatively high level of sodium. Do not be afraid of salt. Why does this camera suck in the dark? Can someone tell me? Okay, that's not that bad. My lost sip going down the hatch. Ooh, see none left, just some drips. <laughs> that is gonna be the end of this video, guys. I will insert all the tips summed up at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something, yay! Love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. That was weird. <laughs>